This is the second in a series of videos about database fundamentals. We're going to look more at the notation used for data modeling. Uh, there are relatively few symbols, but there are many concepts represented by this fairly simple set of symbols. And we can't seem to agree uh, for some reason we don't, you'll see different notation or different symbols used in different uh, depictions of a data model because we don't have a consensus. In this set of videos we're going to use what's known as the crow's feet or crow's foot notation and we will also uh, when we start uh, we'll see some examples from Oracle's uh, data modeler tool and it has the option of displaying the Barker notation or what's known as the information engineering notation and crow's feet is frequently depicted in textbooks you also see it used in industry Barker and IE notation are really just variations of this the nice thing about data modeling though is once you become comfortable with the terminology and the concepts that are being represented, it's really pretty easy to switch from one notation to another. So we have an entity. An entity is a person, place, thing, or event about which we want to store data. An example entity would be customer, or employee, or vehicle. We also have the term uh, entity type or entity. We're going to use those fairly interchangeably, uh, typically just calling it entity. We have entity instance. An entity instance is a single occurrence of an entity. So by that I mean if we have a customer entity, then one example specific customer would be Bob Wilson or Carla Stevens. The symbol for an entity is a rectangle. We also have an attribute concept and the attribute is a single unit of data that describes something about an entity. So what describes a customer? First name, last name, customer number, customer phone number. These are things that describe a specific entity instance or occurrence of a specific customer. So an entity usually has many attributes. So we see in our example we have the generic entity attribute 1 and 2 and we also have a, spe a uh, specific example of customer and three attributes. In this example we have employee as an entity and attributes added that describe things about the employee. But there's, diff there's additional notation here. imp underscore id is underlined and this is underlined to show that it is an identifier, a unique identifier. Each employee, each in employee instance is going to have a value an employee ID that nobody, no other employees had. So Carla Stevens has employee ID 3492. David Adams has employee ID 4382. So we can always find that specific row or instance of Carla Stevens because we know her unique identifier. The notation around phone indicates that it is a multi-valued attribute. What this means is that particular attribute you might want to actually put more than one value in there. And so what we have as an example is Carla Stevens has a phone number for her office, a phone number for her cell, and a phone number for her home phone. Within the data model, one entity is related to one or more other entities and that relationship is a line, a line drawn between the two entities. So we have an example here of customer related to order and order related to inventory. 
We're just not showing attributes just to keep the diagram simple. Then we have the concept of cardinality. Cardinality symbols show the minimum and maximum constraints on a relationship. And this is where you see the crow's foot. In the next video, we'll discuss cardinality in much greater detail. But what we see here in the diagram are examples or symbols that represent the minimum and maximum constraints. The, these two symbols, the zero and the crow's foot, represent the relationship of customer to order. But there's also a relationship of order to customer, and it has, in this case, different symbols, the tick mark or the vertical line. And on this side, from order to inventory, we see these two symbols represent the inventory relationship to order. These two symbols represent the relationship of order to in inventory. So we've covered uh, crow's foot notation for data modeling. We've introduced that concept. Uh, we'll see Barker notation and information or IE uh, notation when we start looking at examples from Oracle Data Modeler. We've heard the terms entity, entity type, attribute, entity instance, relationship, identifier, multi-valued attribute, and cardinality.